It's a nice ingredient. She's a nice girl. But when you come for her, she will attack you. That's just how she operates. That's how she works. My mom loves this one. She literally steals it every time I get it in PR. It will get your skin shaking with hydration. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm a skincare chemist and I help you out with all of your skincare questions. If you're interested in that, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and let's talk about hyaluronic acid. You know what I realized? It's been a minute I talked about hyaluronic acid on this channel. I was going through my page and I'm like, <gasps> We haven't talked about hyaluronic acid in a hot minute, y'all. Like, what's up with that? I feel like hyaluronic acid is on every skincare influencer's tongue, every skincare person. If you don't have a video or if you haven't talked about hyaluronic acid or if you haven't used hyaluronic acid, we need to talk. <laughs> That's all I can say. We need to talk. I figured we should do a little updated video on hyaluronic acid on here. I talk about hyaluronic acid a lot on my TikTok and I realized I was just giving the TikTok girlies all the tea and not talking to my YouTube family. You guys know you have a special place in my heart so I had to bring it over here. I had to talk to you guys about hyaluronic acid a little bit. So first of all, what is hyaluronic acid? Hyaluronic acid is a humectant. It holds its weight four times in water. It basically works by pulling water from the atmosphere. So it basically just works by osmosis area of higher concentration to area of lower concentration. So that's how girl hyaluronic acid she just likes to still water and put it into your skin to give you that plumping lasting hydration so we love her we love her on this channel all the girlies love her but it can get irritating because there's people that have said that hyaluronic acid was peeling on their skin which we'll get into that later but it was peeling their skin it was irritating it was this it was that so let's talk about how we can be nice to our girl hyaluronic acid how we don't abuse her because if you abuse her she'll attack you and she does not play when she attacks so Let's get into hyaluronic acid. Now, there's three major types of hyaluronic acid. The other types that you find are probably gonna be just variants or derivatives of these three, but typically, in a lot of products, what you'll find are these three hyaluronic acids. First one, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. Second, sodium hyaluronate. And third, acetylated hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. These three play a major role in the different parts of the skin. The first one works on the epidermal layer of the skin, so it doesn't really go past the surface layer because it has such a huge molecular weight, so it kind of sits up top. The second one goes just below the surface, not too deep, just below the surface of the epidermal layer, but doesn't go too deeply into the skin. Now, the last one don't play. She goes deep, deep. She's a deep sister. She likes to know the details, so she goes in there, and that's where she works. So that one isn't used in a lot of formulations because it can get real ugly real fast. So mostly you see hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid or you see sodium hyaluronate. Now hyaluronic acid does not peel, okay? There's two things that are happening when your hyaluronic acid is peeling. The first one is you're probably not letting it dry. So a lot of the times hyaluronic acid is formulated with a lot of polymers to basically help form like a film on the skin to kind of help trap that moisture that hyaluronic acid is bringing in. So if you don't let it dry completely and you use your hand to kind of work the product in, you basically break into those polymers that are supposed to be forming on the skin. So the peeling that you're seeing is basically those ingredients coming off. Or two, using hyaluronic acid with other ingredients that have polymers in it. So the polymers from the hyaluronic acid serum and the polymers from the other products you're using on top of it, like for example, your foundation, it starts to form that kind of peeling effect that you see. So two remedies to that is for the first one, wait for hyaluronic acid to fully dry before you start working it in, or two, don't use products together. Use hyaluronic acid in the AM and use the other products in the PM. Now people always ask me, what are your favorite hyaluronic acids? What products can you live without? And honestly, I have a lot of hyaluronic acids that I like. I will tell you this, do not use hyaluronic acid at above 2%. It's been proven pre multiple studies, not my word, that hyaluronic acid starts to get irritating past 2%. Don't fight with me, go fight with yourself. <laughs> it's just what it is. So if you're using hyaluronic acid, make sure to be kind to it. Again, it's a nice ingredient, she's a nice girl, but when you come for her, she will attack you. That's just how she operates, that's how she works. She's that girl, but the minute you say, listen, I'm gonna need more of you, she bites, okay? So let's be kind to her. So don't use above 2%, keep it below 2% and under. The lower the better, because even going above those 2% marks, one is causing irritation and really it isn't doing much more hydration to the skin. So like I said, I like a lot of hyaluronic acids, but I'm gonna talk about these three in this video today because it's just a lot of hyaluronic acids out there that are just really good. Hyaluronic acid is kind of hard to formulate it wrong. The first one is this one by Glue Recipe. My mom loves this one. She literally steals it every time I get it in PR. She just always is asking me to re-up her on it. Like, it's a little pricey, so just bear that in mind if you're in a budget. And this one does have that acetylated hyaluronic acid, so this one goes really deep into the skin, so if you're not a fan of things getting deep, don't do it. There's also sodium hyaluronate and other forms of hyaluronic acid to really get in all those three different layers we talked about earlier. So this one really got you covered, which is probably why my mom loves it. She's older, so she really appreciates products that really go deeper. Next one's this one for my sensitive girlies is by La Roche-Posay. It's their Hyalo B5 serum. Now, this one just kind of works 
works in the epidermal layer, it doesn't go deep, it doesn't have any acetylated hyaluronic acid, it just has the sodium hyaluronate and hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. So this one works primarily on the epidermis. It also has glycerin, which is a powerful humectant, which I personally really love as well. It also has other ingredients that are help with healing the skin barrier. So this is a really great product if you're not willing to commit to the deep, deep, deep products yet. Now this last product has driven the skincare girlies crazy. The hyaluronic acid lovers are obsessed with this product is this one by Hydro Labo. This one has seven types of hyaluronic acid. It literally is getting you in all types of corners. If you have sensitive skin, if you can't hang, don't do this one. I personally don't think I'll ever invest in this product. But if you feel like I got this, I need all the hydration I can get. I need it to be in my skin now. This might be the best bet for you. Seven types of hyaluronic acid. It will get your skin shaking hydration. It will get you overflowing hydration. So. Yeah, I think this is all that I'm going to share in this video today. If you like any of this product, let me know which one you've used in the comments below. Share your thoughts about hyaluronic acid. Do you love it? Are you moving on to something else? Are we still obsessed with hyaluronic acid? Tell me in the comments below. Let's chat. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.